what's the title of this article? Master on the Mound. As a good reader, you automatically think strategically and actively to understand what you read. As a tutor, your challenge is to learn specific reading comprehension strategies to teach explicitly, one at a time, to your learner. By learning comprehension strategies, your learner will become aware of how to think in order to make meaning while reading. So much of understanding what we read revolves around posing and answering questions. You are going to see three kinds of questions that will help your learner deepen her understanding of what she reads. Literal or right there questions. Inferential or think and search questions. Interpretive or own my own questions. Okay, Veronica, today we're going to practice three different kinds of questions you can ask and answer while you're reading. Asking and answering questions is a really important part of reading comprehension. And strong readers are asking themselves questions all the time. And then as they go through the text, they're looking for answers. And so what we're going to do is we're going to practice three kinds of questions, and we're going to make them very clear so that um, over time, you can practice them again and again and make them more automatic. I know that you have enjoyed reading stories about people making choices or facing challenges in their lives. This is a story about a hairdresser, and her name is Madeline, and she's thinking about making some change in her life. I'm actually going to read the story out loud, and the reason is we're focusing on reading comprehension. So I'm going to read the text so that you can focus on meaning and, and reading comprehension. Okay. All right, so this is The Hairdresser by Madeline. So go ahead and follow along as I read. Mm -hmm. The Hairdresser by Madeline. I'm learning how to read and write so I can get a better job. What I do right now is nice. You do not need to read or write at all. You just use your hands. I'm a hairdresser. It is a great career and the money is fantastic. But when you are on your feet for 14 hours, you don't find it great or fantastic. I have to work so hard because I am a single parent. I know going to school will pay off and I will get a good job. Okay, let's stop there. Now, the first kind of question I'm gonna ask you is called a right there question. It's a literal question. So that means you can actually take your finger and point to the answer right in the text. So let's try this question. Uh, Veronica, why does Madeline want to learn to read and write better? Because she wants to get a better job. Beautiful. And I love how you were able to point right there. The fact that you can point to it, you know, sometimes if there's something that you've forgotten, you can comb through the text and point to the answer. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a good thing to know. All right, Veronica, we're going to ask another question, and this gets to a deeper level of understanding. This is called a think and search question. Um, it's inferential. So you're going to be putting together answers by putting together clues that you find in the text, adding it to what you already know. What reason does Madeline give for wanting a new job? Why does she want a new job? She wants a new job because he works 14 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And uh, when that end of the day, he, her fates are killing and she's very tired. Given that, what's in the text, the next question is, why do you think she wants a nine to five office job? How would that be different? Because a nine to five office job is a short time. She can stay, sit down, don't too tired. She work only for five days a week. Less time and same money. Yeah, the less time keeps coming mm -hmm. up. That's a good one too. And you know, the thing about that response that you just gave None of that is written in the text, but you were able to take a look at the clues here mm -hmm. that she's working so much, so hard, and bring, bring your knowledge of what an office job mm -hmm. can be like. Yes. So that's a really wonderful think and search mm -hmm. response. Let me ask you another think and search kind of question, okay? What might make it hard for her to, to read and write better? A study. 
because don't has time. Okay, don't time. Has time. Always, she work 14 hours, uh -huh. don't has time for study. Uh -huh. So we know she works 14 hours a day. Um, there's a clue. What else keeps her busy, do you think? It's because she's a single parent too. Have you ever been in a similar situation or do you know somebody mm -hmm. who might have things in common with Madeline? My sister-in-law, she's uh -huh. a single mother. She work. Uh -huh. She work always in, in his job, in his house. So do you think that Madeline, do you think that she can get a new job and that all her work will pay off? Uh, if she wants, she can. Yeah. <laughs> if she wants, she can do. If you had advice for her, What would you want to tell Madeline? I like to say she want a better life, better job. Uh, I'm looking for the something, for say something good for, for her life. This is another interpretive or on your own question. What would you do if you were Madeline? I am Mexican and always I think in my family. Uh -huh. Always uh, Mexican family, we have support. Uh, about uh, everything. If the family keep together, mm -hmm. uh, we can do a better life for everybody. You've been able to really respond fabulously to three types of questions. Do you remember what they are? The first one is uh, about the, the time his work. Mm -hmm. She worked a lot. So the next question is, uh, She want to get a better job. That's right. And that true question is, yeah. and it's hard because don't have time. You did a beautiful job pointing to those literal right there questions. You did an amazing job with inference or thinking and searching and putting together your knowledge with the text. And really the interpretive kind of on your own question asking if you know someone in this mm -hmm. situation or connecting to the text by saying, giving advice to Madeline. Sometimes to truly understand a text as a reader, you need to connect with what that text is and, and, and really be able to call it your own. So um, how do you think this went? We, we learned three types of questions. What do you think of that? Did it work well? Is it something we should do again? I like the 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 read and the questions mm -hmm. uh, because make me think more i know about the the life of the others okay make me more human but because i can see the other problems other other uh, difficult other other things that other people suffer the things mm -hmm. and i like know how they can uh, never give, give up and how they make me best Okay, life. beautiful. Do you think we should bring this strategy in to practice reading comprehension when we meet again? Mm -hmm. We'll do that then? Yes. Good readers are actively engaged with what they read. As they read, they ask themselves a variety of questions that range from the simple to the complex, and they look for answers as they go. Reading is a very active process. The goal of practicing reading comprehension is for your learner to master and internalize more and more comprehension strategies to choose from and use in a variety of reading situations. You've seen a tutor do quite a bit of talking when explaining a new strategy. During most lessons, you and your learner would be equally talkative.